In this slide, we are going to take a look at the decision making process that um, we need to go through when we see something on the microscope that we're not really sure what it is. Now, in this particular case, um, we have a cell in the middle, and I am going to use uh, two types of cells to to focus on this differentiation differentiation process and we're going to say that this could either be a monocyte or a large lymphocyte so when i am in this situation and i have to make a decision um, because not everything is going to be uh, black and white or clear cut when we're uh, working at the microscope um, what i do is i ask myself you know, if I think, okay, is it's it's maybe it's a monocyte or maybe it's a it's a large lymphocyte. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take a look at the cell and I'll say, okay, what are the features of this cell that make it a monocyte or make it a lymphocyte? So we'll go ahead and start here with uh, why I think it might be a large lymphocyte. So uh, the first feature is that. You know, this is definitely larger than a small lymphocyte. Um, you know, a small lymphocyte is probably going to be a little bit bigger than a red blood cell, a normal red blood cell. Um, and uh, by and large, these red blood cells look fairly normal. Um, another feature is that, you know, this this uh, nucleus, the nucleus of a, of a large lymphocyte can be... Uh, like rectangular in shape and you know this nucleus in the cell here I mean it, you could say it's kind of rectangular in shape it's got that that space kind of in the middle it's got something going on there um, but it it could be um, now the cytoplasm of a large lymphocyte tends to be kind of lightish blue and this is definitely a lighter blue color than a small lymphocyte uh, okay, let's go to why we think this is a monocyte. Now, similarly to this overall size, this is definitely a large white blood cell. Um, for me, it's a little bit bigger than, than um, what a large lymphocyte normally would be. So I would say this kind of supports a little bit more of why it's a monocyte. Um, the nucleus... Uh, for me, if it, you know the kind of the classic monocyte nucleus is this uh, arch or horseshoe, um, and I think that's what we're seeing here. It looks like a little bit of the nucleus maybe has folded onto itself, but in my opinion, I think that this is a, an arched or folded or, or arched um, nucleus. Now, talking about the cytoplasm. Um, this cytoplasm, although I did use, I did say that it was, you know, it's definitely a lighter blue than the cytoplasm of a small lymphocyte. This has more of the kind of grayish, what some people say, kind of dirty blue color um, for the cytoplasm uh, of a monocyte. So I would say this is more, the cytoplasm, it looks more like a monocyte um, cytoplasm. Um, other features, um, so I see some vacuoles in the cytoplasm of this cell, and that's, that's a common feature of monocytes. Now, it is possible for large lymphocytes rarely to have um, a vacuole, but it's, it's really, it's rather uncommon. So this has several. So I'm feeling like due to those vacuoles, this is, you know, kind of more like a, a monocyte. And then the last thing, this uh, cytoplasm has some, you know, some fine granules in it, but that doesn't necessarily support a monocyte because uh, um, even though that is can be a normal characteristic of a, the cytoplasm of a monocyte. Um, it, it can also be a, a normal characteristic of the cytoplasm of a large lymphocyte. So when I look at my, you know, basically if I had a piece of paper and I had, I wrote on one side monocyte and the other side I wrote lymphocyte um, and I wrote all the things supporting why why this cell is a monocyte or why it's a lymphocyte. I think the list would be a little bit longer on the monocyte side. And actually, I'm pr 
pretty confident that this is just a, a normal monocyte. Um, so if that is helpful for you, it is for me, and this is what I teach my students how to go through the process of um, cell identification.